Alexa, what time is it? Hey Google, what time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 10:22. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Can A Spader Christmas. In this episode, I wanna walk through the input-output setup on Falcon Player. So it's really kind of like a little needle and thread here. So we'll start with X lights and we'll set that up and then we'll go to Falcon Player and we'll set that up and then we'll go to the controllers and set that up. And hopefully by the end of this, all your lights are blinking. Real quickly, I'll talk about some of these things. The, the channel inputs is used if you have something physically connected to the Raspberry Pi that makes it act like a controller. So if you've got a Pi cap, a Pi hat, uh, our Pi 28D, uh, an Octa scroller, something like that, and, and there's probably other things that you can attach to it. But if you have something attached that is actually driving your lights, then channel inputs might make sense. Otherwise, it really makes no sense to, to use that tab. Uh, output processors, you can change things like the brightness, the RGB color order, um, things like that. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, remapping channels, brightness, set, setting values, and then reorder the colors. So if you don't need that, then, then you don't need to set anything here. Um, pixel overlay mode models, um, I don't really use that, so A, I don't know how to use it, and, and I don't know that if, if somebody's trying to get started that they would actually use something like that. And then the, you have access to the GPIO inputs if you want to do something special like hooking up a button or something. Uh, but the channel outputs page is what you will be interested in. You do need to set this up if you are sending data from Falcon Player out to a controller. Before I go into this though, I'm going to start from x lights because that's where everything starts and walk you through setting that up, configuring that for the network, and then we'll come here and set this up. Let's start with the x lights configuration. So I've set up a brand new folder. There's nothing in here, uh, no layout and no sequence. So the first thing I want to do is set up an E131 universe. Now I'm going to use multicast for this demo. Start on uh, universe number one. I'm going to do two universes. I'm going to do 512 channels and we'll just do it like that. So that gives us a maximum of 1024 channels. I'll explain that in just a minute. Go to the layout. I'm going to set up uh, two strings, let me get them level, two strings of 100 pixels, get that one level, look for the red line, there we go. All right, so I've got single line one at 100, and save, and then Single line two at 100 and save. So the end channel is 300 on the first one, which is correct. There's three channels per node. So 100 pixels is 300 channels. And the last one ends on 600, starts on 301. So let's create a new sequence. New sequence. Uh, I'll just do animation. I'm not going to do any sound. Uh, 50 milliseconds is standard and we're good. So you see we have our two models here. The single line one and single line two. I'll grab a uh, bar effect. It just disappeared. I'll grab a bar effect. Actually, let me put a timing mark. So I'm going to come over to the end here and click T or press T. So that'll put a timing mark there. Let me get rid of that. And so when you drag something over, it should fill up the whole thing. There we go. So let's set this one for, I don't know, we'll go to the right. 
Uh, we'll add some colors and we will wrap the palette and wrap, uh, make it move a little faster. All right, and then I'll copy this, control C, control V. So now you see I've got two bars just moving across there. Let me make sure we render just to make sure it's good. And then I'm going to save this. I'll call it a bar demo. And so what that created was this bar demo FSEQ. The FSEQ file is what I will upload into Falcon Player. So it's the binary file. It's the output of the of what Xlights does here. Configuring Falcon Player is fairly simple. So we're going to send the data out on ETH0. You, you have both interfaces there, but I'm going to send it on ETH0. That's our wired network interface. I'm going to set up two universes and I've got so uh, 512, one, uh, start channel one, universe one, and then start channel 513 because we've got 512 of the universe size and universe two. Both are multicast, no problem there. We'll hit save and we need to restart FPPD. On the Falcon controller itself, we will go to the E131 ArtNet page and make sure that we have universe one and two set for 512 E131. So those are the inputs to the controller or the universes that the controller will be listening for and then on the string ports page i've got one uh, this is all messed up by the way because i've programmed this like a hundred times so try to just bear with me here uh, this is universe one start channel one 100 pixels and then universe one start channel 301 uh, because I've got 100 pixels, that end channel is 300. So this is starting on 301. Again, 100 pixels. And we are ending on universe number two, uh, channel 88. Really don't need to worry about that, but um, that's the way I've got it set. And then I've got these set for 80%, so we will stay under the 5 amps max uh, when, if we go to all white. So that is how the controller's set up. That's how X Lights is set up. The Falcon Player is set up. And so now if all this works, over to Falcon Player and go to the file manager. I will grab, try to grab this one, import the bar demo and add that to a playlist. Uh, let's do that to test one. We'll do, this is sequence only, and I want bar test. Bar test, add, and I think that's all I need. Save it. And now, if everything is working, we bring up our test page, go to bar test, hit play. Uh, looks like we are getting lights. So that's a pretty good sign that we have got some, well, I don't know if the colors are right, but oh yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty good sign that everything is working properly. Now, for example, what if the lights did not come on when I did this? Well, the first thing I would do, let me stop this real quick. First thing I would do in this situation, if you did all this and the lights don't come on at all, is first make sure that the lights are connected to the controller properly. So from the status page, you can hit uh, test mode. Uh, you can choose from different ones, but just do color wash. Hit set mode and the light should come on. So they do. All right, so that means that the controller and the lights are working properly. So we'll go back to run mode. And then I would go back to FPP and go to the display testing page. Hit enable test mode. And if you get lights there, then you know it's a problem with your X lights config. If you didn't get lights here, then it's probably something between Falcon player and the controller. 
One final configuration here would be if only if you have lights connected directly up to the Pi. So you have a Pi hat or you've got an octa scroller on top of the Pi. So you have got lights hooked directly up to the Pi, not going through a controller. You can go to this channel inputs and let's just set two universes. Uh, 512, 512, save, and we'll need to restart. What this allows you to do is bring input from somewhere else and play it to the lights. We'll go back to the status page. Uh, we're playing a sequence, but if we go and change this pull down to bridge mode, and wait for it to refresh. So now you see we have a little different interface. What that allows you to do is play something from your computer. The Pi is now listening in what is called bridge mode. Basically anything that it sees on the network, it will play to the lights. This only makes sense if you have got lights connected directly to the Pi through a Pi hat or an Octa scroller or something like that. Something that is, the, the Pi is essentially acting as a controller. Uh, other than that, you don't need bridge mode. Okay, with all of that information, I hope your lights are blinking by now. You should be, you should be able to turn some stuff on and start playing with this stuff now. Uh, I hope you found some of this information useful. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.